Thanks, Kathy and Lieben, for that great introduction. It's great to be with you all again for yet another DIUC. And this is our 32nd. And as you've heard, we have a full agenda for today. So let's start by talking about BI success. We have here a Dresner slide showing a couple of bar charts comparing Dimensional Insight against overall. And DI is doing pretty good. In fact, the completely satisfied score is 62 versus 37. That's about 70% better. Even when you combine the completely successful and the somewhat successful scores together, we are at 94 versus 86, a 10% differential in our direction. Now, if you're looking at the somewhat successful and unsuccessful combined, we're a little over 100% uh, better, 14% versus six. I might add these Dresner scores also correlate very nicely to the same scores we have at Gardner and class. So why don't you check out their websites? Now on the face of it, you might say, gee whiz, Dimensional Insight clients are doing pretty good. But we can do better because our overall completely successful score is only 62. Wouldn't it be great if we could get completely successful up to 94? How would we go about that? Well, it all gets down to adoption. Adoption is the key word tying everything together that we're going to be seeing over the next few hours. Adoption is getting more people to use the data, provide more focus, and make smarter decisions. So how do we go about getting that 62 up to 94? Well, let's take a look at some of the challenges that we have to overcome to make that a possibility. Let's dive into those barriers that hinder adoption. Please note the word dive. I've given this a few hours of thought and boiled these barriers down to two groups, organizational and end user. Let's first start with organizational challenges. First in the list is poorly defined objectives. Now it can be tough to formulate concise goals that work across your entire organization. In fact, sometimes it's almost impossible. Gaining buy-in in those objectives is no small feat. And the ability to rally the entire organization behind a shared objective is also a huge challenge, but it lays the foundation for good business intelligence. Once these objectives are well laid out, understood and supported, then usable business intelligence becomes possible. Of course, without the good objectives, there is no business intelligence. Two. Data quality, unified, accurate, trusted information is imperative. And note the words accurate and trusted, not one version of the truth. Achieving this level of data trustworthiness is no small feat. It requires concentrated effort, especially when dealing with hundreds, if not thousands, of key performance indicators, KPIs. Ensuring data quality demands superb attention. Three, integration of data from various sources sometimes creates a puzzle that requires a team of experts. How do you fit these puzzles together? How much time goes into the, the puzzle? The integrated data flow is a challenge that demands coordination between the user groups with data understanding and IT. And of course, again, requires much time and attention to detail. Now, fourth, the ever-evolving technology landscape with AI and other innovations taking the center stage, it's easy to overlook the importance of leveraging current technology. The ability to incorporate the new with the existing is not easy because you have to advance the business applications over time. This balance requires time and resource allocation between new and current. And it's a process that warrants, requires good planning. 
Now let's move over to end user uh, issues, their domain. First, cultural resistance. It is a significant hurdle. Resistance to change. My way is the best way. Mentality can impede smooth integration. Overcoming this resistance is tough and it requires good communication along with education. And I might add very solid political skills. It's not easy, but the ability to change will increase the end user performance greatly. Second, the challenge of customization, tailoring that BI product to meet the unique needs of either the individual or at a departmental level. This is an art in of itself. Doing so effectively requires an alignment between the user, the developer, and the technology. Again, requires time to accomplish. Three, we confront the issue of complexity. How do we ensure that the data presentations, be they dashboards or reports, are comprehensible and insightful? The ability to distill complex information into easy chunks is an art. Remember the DI motto, goodness is simplicity and consistency, easy to say, hard to do. And fourth, a lack of adequate training. In a world of potentially hundreds of dashboards and reports, the user can just give up and not take advantage of any of it. Effective training materials requires online videos and written documentation to bridge this knowledge gap. We have to be able to train without a physical trainer. And of course, our biggest problem again is time to do, time to put it all in place. So in summary, success in breaking down these barriers requires collaboration, constant decision-making and efficient use of time. Time serves a dual role here as both a constraint and a resource underscoring time importance right, is huge. Recognizing this dual nature and managing it skillfully is key to overcoming these barriers. Now let's pivot to explore how these challenges can be effectively addressed through Gateway. Gateway is a solution that holds the potential to dismantle some of these roadblocks that I've just talked about. And I might add to facilitate adoption. Gateway is a unified client that brings together our three prior clients, DivePort, DiveTab, and ProDiver. Each of these products were developed individually over time. ProDiver is the oldest, followed by DivePort and then DiveTab. Now we're combining these and putting them underneath my library. My library acts as a hub, an access point. My library can either be a browser or an executable. Diveport, as you are well aware, is browser only and supports dashboards and various reporting. Whereas Dive Tab is designed for reporting across domains, you can jump from one domain to another. It is an executable only. And finally, good old ProDiver an executable used for deep analysis, and it is the go-to tool to ensure you have data integrity. So we're assessing all of these now through my library, the hub, and this supports our model simplicity and consistency. It simplifies usability. Every user has the right to use any of the prior tools since all three are part of Gateway. Now, why did we choose the name Gateway? Well, it's the gateway to the application. Gateway runs on a PC, the tablet, and the phone. Supports both Apple and Android, although it is further advanced uh, on Apple. Due to the real estate, functionality can be different depending upon the device. Since the majority of our users are on a PC, we will take a look at the various features that comprise Gateway as listed here using the PC. 
I'm going to now hand the presentation over uh, to Stan, and he will give you a short demo on each. See you all in a few minutes.